Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Josh. Thank you guys for watching. If you don't know what we do, we are a small family of five who run our own online business, buying and selling things we find at thrift stores, garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, wherever we can find a deal. And in today's video, we are going to count down our top 10 favorite items that we thrifted this week. So let's get right into it at number 10. Number 10 is this dope piece of vintage SeaWorld merch. It has here, re reads, Instinction is Forever, and it's got the orcas on it. This is a single stitch, probably mid, early to mid 90s. Got some hammerhead sharks up in there. I think Shark Week is like coming up soon, so that's pretty dope. I was pretty excited to find this. And number nine, is this dope UNC Tar Heels single stitch 90s tee. I don't know how you can argue with Jordan, Vince Carter. I mean, the list goes on. These guys are incredible. Uh, Vince being one of my favorites all time. So uh, super pumped to find this t-shirt. And number eight, we've got this dope Mickey Mouse all over print satin like bomber jacket. Uh, this thing is so 80s, 90s, it's incredible. Um, it's all over, full zip. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram at the underscore vent underscore age, uh, you'll have seen this featured in our IG, but this thing is sick. Really pumped to found this. All right, at number seven, we got that checks over stripes, like pullover windbreaker with like that center check on the uh, pouch area. Uh, it's like maroon color. This is like perfect for like going into the fall. September, October, this is gonna be dope on somebody. It's a real large size, XL. Um, man, that's gonna, that's gonna be sick. I mean, it's gonna be, a, that's gonna complete a fit for somebody. So, stoked to find that one. Now, number six coming in with the t-shirts again, we've got this Sugar Babies, which I was like, what, the candy? No, it's actually the Sugar Babies was a 70s musical that I think um, Mickey Rooney was in, maybe, is what, if I did my research correctly. But anyway, it's got like the burlesque girls and like a clown. I think Mickey Rooney probably played this character. But this is super 70s, uh, definitely the 70s like size. I think it says it's a size like 42, 44, which is ridiculous because I think it's got a 17 inch pit to pit. So definitely on the small side, maybe for the ladies out there. But I love finding old, old t-shirts like this because you just don't find them very often. At number five, we've got this dope, not Kuji, unfortunately, but I think it's that round tree in York, like crazy mercantilized, like cotton, all the, the crazy stitching, uh, lots of colors. This thing is sick. Um, I saw this on the inside of the sorting area at a thrift store. And I just asked the old ladies like, hey, I know that's not priced yet, but is it possible I could just go ahead and buy it? And she was super kind and hooked it up for the win. At number four, we have this super sick 1980s Gitano Express denim overalls. I mean, these are just so dope, so 80s. Like, I mean, you can't even see all of it, but like, I mean, they're, they're perfect. Like, my wife put it on, bam, wow. And so anyway, super dope. Found that with a huge collection of other 80s stuff. Um, uh, we'll maybe show some of those that those pieces later, but uh, super dope, great find. Now here at number three, I'm gonna have to show you this in kind of three parts because it is a three-piece suit. And specifically a Levi's three-piece suit. We've got the little itty bitty, that's what seems a little itty bitty, because this is a women's. Um, you can see it's got the Levi's tag. You can see it's got the Levi's tag. And it's got the hits right here with the, the tab. It's a corduroy specifically. We've got the pants. I mean, these are probably like wide leg, bell bottoms, super 70s. Uh, some of these go for a lot of money. Here's the jacket. I mean, incredible. Uh, such a cool piece. You don't find the pieces all together very often. Um, so far as my Levi's collection, I really had to have it. 
not bad. Now coming in at number two is a t-shirt I found just yesterday. Super stoked to find, find it. You guys know that comic book tees are like hot, specifically the Marvel. Unfortunately, this is not a Marvel tee. I wish it were. It would be a number one if it was, but it's not. But uh, in my opinion, it's my favorite superhero. I think he's the best superhero because he ain't like got superpowers. He's just like strong-willed and driven and rich. Um, it's this dope Batman piece from 1988. Um, it's super sick, single stitch. Um, the, the the printing is still like super, super clean. So not a lot of fading or like, I don't see any cracking at all. Uh, maybe a little bit here in the B, but like super dope, 1988, uh, super sick shirt. I think it's a, a, a great shirt. It's in a good size, like it's a large. Um, uh, the tag is gone, but uh, it's a pretty good size. So uh, stoked to find that shirt, great shirt. Number one could have been no other piece but this piece. This was the creme de la creme this week, the top of the heap. Everybody, it is Tyson Holyfield 2. And of course, Tyson's about to fight, I think in September against Roy Jones Jr. So this thing is gonna be hot. Um, it's got the embroider in the front. I mean, this thing, I mean, it's crispy. Like, it is like maybe dead stock. I don't think it's been worn. Um, of course, you have to wash for dry rot, but I'm like feeling it and it's like feeling pretty good. So, um, and it's not ter that terribly old, um, but 99, 1997. So, super sick, gold lettering, love it. Um, definitely the top of the heap this week. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll get back with more of these. I know I don't do, haven't been doing a lot of the trip to the thrift videos. Those have been a little bit more difficult lately. Uh, we've been like going, going, going hard. I mean, if you could see the pile, you can kind of see the pile back here, but it's actually like spread out a lot. And we just got like a whole bunch of it out. So we've been like super crammed for, or for time uh, to make these videos. And we've been adding sports cars. So anyway, guys, thank you. Smash the like button. Leave a comment below. What's your favorite one of this top 10? And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we will see you guys later. Go make some money. Peace. Uh, wow.